today we are on floral stamp number four. So I am going to come over here to the brush panel, grab stamp number four and a light teal color. And on its own layer, I am going to stamp the flower. Now let's grab a darker teal, the monoline brush, and let's tap our layer and turn on alpha lock. That means we can color only on the flower itself. So I'm going to draw in that front petal there and then just color it in. Make sure it comes up high enough into here that when we color in the yellow, um, it's all covered by that. Okay, so now grab, um, remember which yellow I used, but if you start with your pencil, make a curved line and then hold it, just like with the straight line, it will make it perfect-ish. Um, and you can two finger tap to undo. I accidentally let go of that a bit and get it right in there. And then just color it in. You can see I overshot that just a little. So all I need to do is tap this square to do my color picker and slide it over to the color I wanna use. And then I'm gonna make my mono line brush a lot finer. And then you can just even that out a bit. All right, so let's add in our little white details. I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the same layer. You could do it on a new layer if you wanted, um, but I think for this on the same layer will be fine. So. Just add in a few polka dots at random with your monoline brush. And then on a smaller size, we'll add in the little petal details. You can do exactly what I did, or you can do something different if you like. Oops, I think I like it when it's closer to the yellow center. So let's take it all the way up. And now we will add in the background details. So add a layer below your flower. I'm gonna use a dark pink. Just draw these little guys in. Just gonna make them a little longer. And then I will grab a darker teal and increase the size of my monoline brush. Use it as dots. Actually, I'm gonna make them even bigger. I want them to be a little exaggerated and give it a little more whimsical look. And then all we have to do is add in our stem. So I'm gonna grab this darker color. It's pretty big. And then add my stem. And then you've got your flower all done. So now you can merge it down into one and your flower is ready to go.